welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. A very special Mother's Day edition if you happen to be watching this on Sunday. Yes, so happy Mother's Day. And we haven't put out a video in quite a long time. Yeah, I think it's been... Uh, November. Wasn't it? It's far too long. So this is going to be extremely rusty. Uh, we haven't sat down much in front of the camera in the last few months. And it's gone very quick. I didn't realise we neglected the channel so much. So we're here today to impart a lot of knowledge <laughs> and update, mainly updates. Yeah. Life has continued for us, even though we've not been on screen. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is just a life update covering many different things in one big go. So first things first, the cutest and newest member of our clan, Dill. Should we get him in? We'll try. Rufus, Dill, come. For those that follow us on Instagram um, and probably seen our stories, you might know that Dill has joined the team. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> so here he is. Here is Dill. He is about a four month old Dachshund cross Jack Russell type of deal, isn't it? Yeah, so it also known as a sausage Jack. Four months old, so he's been with us since um, the beginning of February. He is the cutest thing ever to have come into our lives other than Rufus. Oh, we've got to be very careful. Rufus has been fantastic. He's been such a good big brother, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, they get on really well. The introduction couldn't have gone much better when we bought Dill home. And um, yeah, he's a very good influence and bad influence all at the same time. He's and got a little bit naughty because he hasn't come back quite yet. Rufus! We have to try and uh, make him feel Come on. like he's missing out. <laughs> oh, Dill, who's a good boy? Oh, yes, Dill, Dill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like Meg was saying, they get on like a house on fire. They're two peas Come in him. a pod. Um, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> if not ever so barky. They even have their own little Instagram page, which oh, you yes. set up. Um, so it's black dot tan boys on Instagram. Um, because they are both black and tan um, and yeah so this is what our life consists of now we are now four-legged um, doggy parents we're loving it um, as opposed to those two-legged doggies <laughs> <laughs> and yeah it is mega cute and this is what life is like now for us yeah so this is why the last few months have been absorbed by other stuff um, obviously there's a lot going on regardless but having a new puppy in the caravan which we were still in does tend to eat up a lot of your spare time. Yes, indeed. Um, but all is good in that department, so we're going to move on swiftly. Yeah, on to the next thing. There is a small chance you may have noticed something different with me. No, she hasn't had a wash. <laughs> <laughs> but Hello! <she's... laughs> keep going, keep but, going. <laughs> but I have had a slight change of hair. You may notice that the dreadlocks have gone. So. Over the last month, we have combed out 49 dreadlocks after five years of growing them and wearing them as dreads. Um, why? One, they weren't as good for travel and van life as I thought they would be. Um, two, I'd had them for five years and I think it, I'm now in the next chapter of my life, which is uh, chapter 30. I'm turning 30 later on this year. Um, they were quite weighty and they were starting to possibly put stress on my hair here and potentially make me go a bit thin and just generally it was time for a change they were looking a bit ratty i had made the decision last year to start growing them out and then yes so 49 dreads they were around an hour to 45 minutes 45 minutes to an hour to take out so best part of three weeks we had a couple of parties combing them out. And then I will put in some pictures of me with my hair looking good in its new style now as well. Um, mainly because it's it needs a wash now and it looks like a wig and we need to get this video filmed for you guys so you know what's up with us. And a quick little trigger warning. Um, you might want to skip the next few seconds if you're squeamish because there is a bag <laughs> of hair that was left over and dreads that will slide in right now. Uh, hopefully you're not eating your breakfast or lunch or dinner. We've got a picture that compares the hair to the two dogs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just as a size reference. Yeah. So yeah, big change for you. Yeah, big change. I didn't know um, what I thought about it when I first had them taken out. 
Um, but it was over a course of like three weeks. It wasn't like an immediate before and after, after like half a day. It was three weeks of having two little combing out parties and then me and you, two a night. Mm. Whilst, after we'd eaten dinner, whilst watching Netflix, just there combing it, unbelievably laborious. So yeah. when you're juggling the dogs and full-time work, they didn't leave much no, time for no, anything else. Didn't. Hence why we've been so quiet for so long. So obviously our channel has orbited around travel for the last few years. That's kind of what we went into. We started it as a digital diary whilst we were converting the van and we loved the video making process and so we thought why not film our travels? There's so many people at the time we're doing it. It was quite a cool thing to do and document we mm -hmm. thought. So we did that and had a blast. That's where a lot of you joined uh, the channel, especially our Sardinian travels during lockdown. I know a lot of people enjoyed watching our escapades, although we weren't too sure whether we should be uploading it at a time like that. Um, but now it is, we have been home for nearly two years. Two years in August, we'll have returned from our trip for a year around Europe. And nothing for us has really happened since other than a little trip up to Scotland for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, we could have probably put out something every once in a while, but I don't, it just wouldn't have been worth your time and there would have been no passion in it for us because I don't know, our lives aren't that extraordinary and we're not the type of people to really uh, pretend that uh, we're up. Pretend or force it, yeah. force something out. So, so the Scotland trip was way back in October and we did intend to film it. We had two weeks, we thought two weeks is a nice time. Just a little, a little trip that we could film, put together something special. Um, we got up there and I think by day two, we decided to put the camera away, yeah. pretty much. Uh, the sh added stress all of a sudden after not filming traveling for so long it just seemed like a lot to put on top of finding spots uh, organizing our days what was going to be happening Rufus was on but wasn't on board as well so yeah. that was a new level of uh, added extra yeah and we've basically just really struggled to film and create content uh, since being home and not living in the van it's such a totally different thing to do mm. when you're juggling work normal day life commitments living in the van for you it was a wonderful experience but it also gave us the time yeah. to do it i think we're also struggling for inspiration and then when we actually come to get the camera and the tripod and the microphones out it just saps all the way our energy our zest for doing it now it's just really changed hasn't it yeah um we realized just just how much work it is and I think because we haven't been able to travel properly for so long, I think the next time we do manage to go, I think we want to fully enjoy it and immerse it and not feel like it's a job. Because it isn't really, we have a small amounts of money, but it's not, it's something we enjoy, but it's not like a job job, so. What is, what could be a 10, 15 minute video has taken us days to create. Um, and I'm not sure that we, we haven't got the joy for it anymore, the editing. Yeah as much as we're going to be doing it. So basically, in a nutshell, what we are saying is we don't particularly know the future, what the future holds for our YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Um, we intend to keep doing uh, the social medias, the Instagram, the Facebook, and um, maybe even keeping up with writing our blogs when we go places. We thought about doing a new blog series of doggy travels and all of the different pubs and places that we stay with the dogs in the van or hotels, doggy hotels. Because doing blogs doesn't take you out of being in the moment. You can yeah. take pictures, but when you're filming, and like I never enjoyed filming like Barcelona and stuff like that, where it's busy. Mm being in front of the camera vlogging doesn't come naturally so that felt a little bit forced at the time and if I look back on our travels I think trying to film was what caused the majority of the stress yeah besides finding water and stuff like that so I'm not sure if we've accidentally skipped ahead a little bit there but we were going to talk about our future travels because um, it's still something we want to do regardless of uh, not filming as many of you might remember we were planning to go to Norway uh, in June for about two and a half months I think we yeah. were going to do so we're getting the dogs ready with what they need and planning ahead and costing up and it was looking like it was going to be a bit of an outlay initially um, but that was before you know the, the cost of living is shot up Covid's on fuel, the rise. Fuel prices and then also the situation in Ukraine and kind of Eastern Europe as well. It's a very like selfish way of looking at it yeah. but I think changing our plans that much has also 
changed our priorities as well. Um, Travelling in the van is a luxury and is not the most important thing right now for us. Yeah, I think our priorities have changed. We aren't particularly prepared to spend quite a bit of money, I suppose, getting the dogs ready, getting the van ready, getting uh, booking the tickets. But then we've also got the epic drive to, to drive through France and the tunnel all the way through to Denmark. It's going to be so much more costly than we thought it was going to a few, a fair few just even months ago. Um, and I don't think we were willing to take that risk anymore. So Norway for us in June this year is off. Um, however, we've got a backup plan. It's gonna be a little little normal person's holiday for three weeks, pootling over through France, and we are gonna go and see our mates, fantastic traveling, Leon and Meek, up in the Netherlands, where they're going to be based for their little six month um, working setup that they've got that is absolutely fantastic. So we're looking forward to see them in the flesh for the, only the second time, <laughs> even though it feels as if we speak to them potentially more than we do some of our family members. <laughs> <laughs> potentially. We have spent a long time documenting our journey from building the van to traveling. We've lived behind the lens for quite a while now and you guys know that there's plenty of people putting van life content out there. It's time for us now to take a little bow. Thank you all for watching and kind of say that we're going to be going quiet for a little while. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's hard because we're extremely proud of what we've achieved and we really know that you guys appreciate us yeah. from previous comments in different videos but I hope you all understand that it's life isn't just about documenting it for YouTube which you, I think you know that and yeah. like I it's hard to put into words how we how we feel about it all just because we know how much you guys enjoyed it and we enjoyed it in the, uh, back in the back in the day yeah and we're not cutting ourselves off if you want to message us over Facebook or Instagram or email, we're still going to be here. Yeah. So feel free to do that. Um, we're not cutting ourselves off from the community entirely because we, we love it. And there's a lot of people that we've met and enjoyed hanging out with over the years. So that's it, really. We're not trying to be sad, though. Poor little us. What are you doing to that dog's ears? <laughs> I think they're really warm and soft. <laughs> he likes it. Uh, <laughs> I've been watching you with the leads, fiddling and fannying them with them. It. I can't help it. He likes it, doesn't he? Look at him. <laughs> and just before we go, we have just got one last commitment that we need to feature in this video, and that is for our long-term supporters of the channel, Jackery. That's right. This is a special event to celebrate their whole first year of being in the EU market. Uh, previous to this, they've only been trading on Amazon, but now they've launched their own specific website. Yes. And to celebrate, in an extra special way, we have got a very special discount code for you guys to give you 10% off the range. That's right, if you use Flora 10 at checkout, you can save yourself 10% off the Solar Saga 100 panel, the Jackery Explorer 500, the Explorer 1000, or the Solar Generator kits in the 500 and 1000 varieties. Yes, so <laughs> if you've been waiting for a fantastic discount code to finally get your Jackery, here we go. All the links will be down below in the description. That's right, and if you're thinking, well guys, you're not traveling at the moment, so you've got no use for these, you'd be wrong because during the storm Eunice, and we've had some planned power cuts recently, we've actually been using these quite a bit, and my parents have used them as well to keep the skybox and TV running, so they're entertained during the blackouts. Yeah. So if they can use them, you definitely can. Yeah. No offense to your parents. Well, some offense taken. <laughs> they can't figure out to use YouTube, so it doesn't matter. They'll never no, see they'll it. never <laughs> see this. So, we know these are fantastic products. They've been all over YouTube and plenty of the van life community have gotten them. But we just want to say thank you very much for trusting in us to promote their products too. So thank you once again, Jackery, and congratulations on your first year of the EU market. And as Meg said, all the information will be down below in the description box to make what we said a little bit more understandable yeah. in case there was too many facts and figures because I forgot myself. So thanks again. Uh, for your continued support and for watching. Uh, for a little while, this is us signing off yeah. from Cal and Meg, Rufus and little Dill. Thank you for being a part of the journey. And yes, we will still be here, but just not putting everything into videos anymore. So 
yeah, enjoy your own van life travels and we will see you in the next one, which will probably be on Instagram if you follow us, which is at VW underscore Flora, just in case. <laughs> All the links will be in the description if you want. As it always is. Right, we'll see you in the comment section below too. We'll see you later on down the road. Oh, I've still a song coming up. <laughs> That's what we'll do next. <laughs> Bust. Mm, Bust. Don't know about that. Thank you.